Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom, coming to you from the 27th Annual World Congress of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And I want to talk about a lecture I just saw from Ann Lemke, physician at Stanford, who spoke about opioid addiction. And part of the tie-in with the autoimmune disease, as well as I'm going to talk about at the end, is low-dose naltrexone, which is used a lot as an immunomodulator, pain management medication, anti-inflammatory, and actually helps with metabolism and weight loss. Well, she was talking about the opioid epidemic, and she was talking about how the body has homeostasis when it comes to pain and pleasure. Now, it's almost like two ends of a teeter-totter, with pleasure on one side and pain on the other. Now, she used an example, when she eats chocolate, the teeter-totter tips towards pleasure. But the body likes balance, and what happens after a little while is that teeter-totter tips towards pain, and then you want some more chocolate. Now, the chocolate is a little bit of pleasure with a little bit of tipping of that teeter-totter. But when somebody takes an opioid, there is a big pleasure, and the teeter-totter shifts big to the other side. Now, because the body likes balance, she talked about how gremlins jump on the pain side and try to tip the teeter-totter to the, the pain side thus driving a person to take more opioids. Now the longer and the more opioids you're on, the more the teeter-totter tries to tip to the pleasure side, but then you start getting really big gremlins. She used an Arnold Schwarzenegger sized gremlins, start jumping on the pain side to try to create, create the balance. Now over time, the brain actually remodels and actually changes the brain with these big gremlins on the pain side of the teeter-totter. And that's where you get opioid-induced hyperalgesia. You actually get more pain and are more sensitive to pain because of those big gremlins jumping on the pain side. Now, somebody asked her a question about low-dose naltrexone for pain. And she got very excited and talked about how by blocking the opioid receptors at the brain level, the brain and the body actually start producing their own opioids much better, and it's like all, you're blocking the gremlins from jumping on the pain side, and instead all those big gremlins, Arnold Schwarzenegger sized gremlins, jump on the pleasure side, and how important that is to resetting the system and creating, and creating the ability for people not to need these medications and be able to get off of them. But also, the low-dose naltrexone, what we see in autoimmune medicine, is that not only does it do this wonderful work for pain, but also it rebalances the immune system, gets rid of inflammation in general, and picks up metabolism so people can burn off the brown adipose tissue and get rid of the brown adipose tissue that creates all these inflammatory chemicals, the inflammatory cytokines that thus produce inflammation. Thank you so much.